This tutorial was developed to provide you with the step-by-step -step instructions you'll need to successfully incorporate the Elcometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge into your daily activities. We'll help you become familiar with some of the industry's terminology and techniques. As with any industry, the language of coding's thickness operations is all its own. Let's take just a few moments to review some of the language commonly used with regards to coatings thickness gauges. The primary goal of this section of the tutorial is to arm you with the knowledge you'll need to successfully verify and adjust your Elcometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge. We'll discuss the inner workings of your gauge and offer you a fresh perspective on the methods and techniques involved in performing a gauge adjustment. SSPC is internationally recognized as one of the leading societies in the field of protective coatings. The organization is dedicated to the use of high-performance industrial coatings for the protection and preservation of concrete, steel and other industrial structures. SSPC PA2, Measurement of Dry Coating Thickness with Magnetic Gauges, describes the procedures to measure the thickness of a dry film of a non-magnetic coating applied on a magnetic substrate using commercially available magnetic gauges. The standard also defines a procedure to determine if the film thickness over an extended area conforms to the minimum and the maximum levels specified. Coatings thickness standards provide a field-ready model of the paper-based standard provided by the world's leading authorities on coatings thickness measurement. Pre-coated standards, using hard-wearing epoxy coatings on both steel and aluminum plates, are available. Sets of pre-coated epoxy coating thickness standards are supplied in binders with a zero plate and four thickness values together with a calibration certificate. Coatings thickness foils or shims are commonly used to simulate a coating. They provide a known value of thickness on the actual substrate to be measured. When using a foil it should be placed flat on the surface and the coating thickness gauge probe placed at a point on the foil nearest its true center. Care must be taken to ensure that no dirt or dust is trapped beneath the foil, between the foil and the substrate, as this will affect the gauge's reading. Traceability provides the means of placing all related measurements on a consistent measurement scale. If a measurement is traceable, it must also be repeatable to be of any real value. As we've discussed, calibrating, verifying and adjusting your gauge prior to measuring are critical to successful daily operations. This section will help you with the steps necessary to incorporate the Elcometer 456 top into your quality system. When using a coating thickness gauge, a three-step process ensures the best accuracy. 1. Calibration. 2. Verification of accuracy. And 3. Calibration Adjustment Let's begin our discussion with step number 1 in the process calibration. Calibration By definition, remember the calibration is typically performed in a controlled laboratory environment, while verification and adjustment are field operations. Certificate of Accuracy The assignment of a suitable certification interval should be recognized as part of an equipment user's risk management strategy. While the need for recertification should be based on the frequency and prevailing conditions of the instrument's use, one year is generally accepted within the industry.
The second part of our three-step process is verification of accuracy. As we'll see, confirming your gauge's accuracy requires very little time, but its added value to your overall quality process is beyond measure. According to SSPC 2004, verification should be performed, at a minimum, at the start or end of every shift, before taking any critical measurements, any time the instrument is suspected to be damaged, and whenever your gauge's readings seem suspect. Calibration adjustment represents the final portion of our three-step process. Calibration adjustment in accordance with SSPC 2004. The unequivocal answer to this question is yes, 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 and yes. What good is a measurement if we can't trust it? Trust is where gauge calibration adjustment comes into play. In order to understand the critical importance of gauge optimization, let's take a look at what we don't see when the gauge's probe makes contact with the intended measurement surface. The Elcometer 456 top utilizes the measurement techniques of electromagnetic induction and eddy currents to measure a wide variety of coatings on either ferrous metal or non-ferrous metal substrates. This illustration, in essence, depicts what we cannot see when the probe comes in contact with the surface to be measured. The electric field generated by the probe is shown in red. The magnetic field is depicted in blue. As the electric field increases, it produces an increasing magnetic field at right angles to it, and vice versa. The coating thickness gauge actually measures distance. The instrument's probe generates a signal that travels through the coating to the substrate. The distance must be referenced from a starting point or a zero point. The starting point needs to stay constant in order for the coating thickness value to be accurate and reliable. For example, if you set the starting point to a smooth surface, and then change the rules by measuring on a rough surface, your thickness reading will be skewed. A coating thickness gauge set up on a smooth surface will understate thickness on a rough surface because magnetic flux lines have decreased their length of travel. The opposite will occur if a gauge set up on a rough surface is used to measure a coating applied to a smooth surface. In this tutorial, We've reviewed the successful operation of the Elcometer 456 Top Dry Film Thickness Gauge. We welcome your comments and suggestions regarding this presentation, and encourage you to voice your opinions by emailing sales at elcometerusa.com, or by contacting your local sales representative or distributor directly.